Hello, Fortune Builders. It's Tom Black again. Um, oh, excuse me. Mm. Thank you, Maureen Janko. I am drinking warm lemon water, and my throat feels so much better. And thank you all for the other home remedies that you messaged me about yesterday. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Um, and uh, I will definitely... Uh, reach out to you guys again, but I felt rough since fr Thursday, and I feel so much better now. But um, how to find an investor-friendly realtor part two? Uh, now that you've uh, watched the first video and you've gotten the um, name of a couple of agents that have some experience working with real estate investors, uh, now you want to talk to the agents themselves. So what are some of the questions you want to ask them? Because you're brand new. So you think, oh my gosh, you know, I'm an experienced real estate agent. Might not want to work with me. No, no, no. Just the opposite. Um, you have years of experience or your team has years. Of, that's my, that's a Rocky, um, my, my happy um, four-legged friend. But what I was going to say is you have... We as a collective, Fortune Builders, has more experience than anyone could ever have. So I would say something along the lines of, we want to create a relationship with you because we're looking to either buy properties to renovate and then put back on the market, which you could help us do, or... Um, we're looking to find rental properties that we can buy and put on the market and maybe you or, or your office would be interested in managing those for us. Uh, we will certainly look into um, multiple companies but I just want to let you know that that could possibly be in your future. But make sure that the, the real estate agent understands that you want to make sure that they make plenty of money and that you're in this together and that you know that most real estate agents don't understand real estate investors at all. And understand that most real estate investors don't know how to properly use their real estate agent. So when you find a real estate agent who has experience and can speak the investor language, like, um, when I was in high school, I was fluent in French, and when I lived in Germany for a couple of years, I, I knew German pretty well. German pretty well. So um, when you understand another language, let's call it an investor language and agent language, they're two different languages. But when they understand each other's language, there's nothing that, they, that can't be accomplished. So I think that you also need to make sure that you're finding someone who's like-minded. They could be uh, experienced in working with investors, but something is uncomfortable for whatever reason. Um, God or the universe or however you want to look at it. His way of explaining to you um, what's right or wrong is that gut feeling. And there's never going to be a time in your life where you have a gut feeling and then you go against it and you're right. That'll never happen. It's a, it's a, a universal impossibility. So since we all know we've gone against our gut feeling and been wrong, um, let's never do that. So if you meet someone and something doesn't feel quite right or the conversation seems a bit off, that's not a good fit for you. A good fit is you walk away going, wow, that's really, I look forward to working with them. And then keep, keep the lines of communication open regularly um, without being too present. Uh, communicate with them on a regular basis. Uh, email and every day or so, um, you know, kind of, Kind of lay out in advance some of the expectations and some of how what you do is going to benefit them. Uh, I guess I will certainly you know give you some more 
specifics on how that works in the future. Um, but I just wanted to let you know. Oh, that sun's kind of bright in here, isn't it? Oh, well. Um, anyway, I know the lighting is a little off on this, but I'm sure you can hear me. And uh, I'll make another video soon. Uh, but this is just so much fun for me. Um, it's all I do. Uh, I've talked to three Fortune Builder students on the phone today. Uh, one in Hawaii and another one in South Carolina, in Charleston, where we've actually talked about moving. And, um, and then another one in Pennsylvania, Red Lion, Pennsylvania. So I think overall between emails and phone calls, I've probably spoken to just about a hundred or communicate with just about a hundred students across the country. And uh, it's just been a great experience. So anyway, like I said in my last video, I'll do whatever I can to help you.